we're going to see here is how to get the area of a parallelogram. Now, hopefully you remember what a parallelogram is. A parallelogram is any four-sided figure where both sets of sides are parallel to each other. So you've got here, this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. So it is a parallelogram. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is right here, right at the top. The area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. Now, what I mean by base and height, a base can be any one of the four sides of the parallelogram. Any one of them. This could be my base, this could be my base, this could be my base, or this could be my base. Remember, two of the sides are the same, so if this is the base, then this is the same base. If this is the base, then this is also the same base. The height is the one you got to be careful of. The height connects to a base so that it forms a right angle, so that it's perpendicular. Like the way my arms are right now, they are making right angles with each other. Okay, there would be a 90 degree angle right where my elbow hit my forearm. Here is where you see that 90 degree angle. You're going to look for that every single time you do this. So if my right angle is here, it's sitting on top of this base, and it's connected to this height. That's why I've got the B and the H here already. Any other problems will actually take it out. Be aware, though, that the base is not always the bottom. I could consider this to be my base because i got, since I know these are parallel, if this is 90, that means this is also 90. Okay? Base is whatever the right angle is connected to. So in this case, the area formula says multiply the base and the height, multiply the base and the height. So I'm going to write area equals 14 inches, my base, times my height, 8.5 inches. And that is going to give me the answer. I'm just going to multiply those two, and I'm going to get 119 square inches, or you could say inches squared. And that problem's done. That's all you have to do. Looking at the second example you see on the board, I've got another parallelogram. Again, I want to find the area. I've got all the measurements. I see this side's 15 inches, 7.5 inches, 15 inches, 7.5 inches, and this dotted line here is 6.5 inches. Okay, so you got to be careful. The base is whichever side the right angle is connected to. Okay, so here's my right angle. Well, it's sitting on this side. So remember here, the bottom was the base, but here and now it's the side. The base is not necessarily the bottom. The base is whatever the right angle is connected to. So 15 inches is my base, and my height is coming right out of my base with a 90 degree angle. And the only line that makes a 90 degree angle the base is this 6.5, that auxiliary line, the dotted line. So again, area says, area formula says multiply base times height. In this case, 15 inches times 6.5. inches times 6.5 inches will give us 97.5 inches squared. I can fit 97.5 little tiny one by one inch boxes in this figure. I can fit 119 one inch by one inch boxes in this figure. <coughs> by the way, these are the actual measurements of these figures. I actually took the measuring tape and measured them. Alright. The third problem we have another parallelogram, but there's a catch. We're going to go backwards instead of forwards. You don't know the base and the height. You know the area. So in the area formula, if it says area equals base times height, and you know the area, well, you're going to put the 90 there. And you're going to know one of these numbers, and you're going to solve the other one. Let's see what we know. Well, here's the 90 degree angle. So that means this is the base, but we don't know. So I'm going to call that B. And coming out of it should be the height. Oh, 10 inches. I do know that. So that's my H. I'm going to write the equation. A equals B times H. So area, 90 inches squared, equals base times height. Well, B I don't know, times my height, 10 inches. Okay? Don't worry about this 11. That's nothing. We don't. That is a base but it's not a base that has a height coming out of it. We don't know this height. We could figure it out, but we don't need to. Okay? So to solve for B, since we're multiplying by 10 inches, do the opposite. To get rid of those 10 inches, do the inverse operation, divide by 10 inches. 10 inches will cancel out on the right, leaving you with B. 90 inches squared divided by 10 inches squared, or I'm sorry, divided by 10 inches, gives you 9 inches, and that's how long the base is, how long this base is. It's 9 inches long, 
which would tell me that this side is 9 inches long. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Right? If you did desire to find this height, you could do that too. You would set it up the same way. 90 inches squared is equal to base times height. On the base, now you know you fill in an 11 there, and you'd leave this blank as an H. All you would have to do is divide by the 11, and you'd find out how long the height is. The alternate height, I should say. Okay? And that's really all you have to do for parallelograms. There's not much else to it. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Uh, if you need to ask me any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, or I'll see you in class. All right? Have a good one.